Welcome back, survivors. I'm Survival Viss, and we're back in our campaign once again. Now, it's been a number of turns since we last left off, and I've been nice, and I've waited, I've been patient, and we finally got our reliability up to very high. The problem is, we still are no closer confederating with either Zlotlin or the last defenders. So we're at the point where something has to change. And what that change is probably going to be... ...is getting brutal. I'm sick of just sitting around waiting for... ...something to change for us to be able to get basically anything done. So we're playing Warhammer up to what its namesake is. War. Well, I guess War and Hammer. Because we're going to hammer War right into these bastards. Because Slot Lawn... We'll take a little look at the... Actually, we'll let things play out, because you'll get to see where Zlotlon exactly went. They're way over here now. They decide go running all the way over here to do some stuff. Why? It's the AI, who knows. But thanks to that, all of their main provinces... Or all of their main provinces and capitals and stuff back on to the mainland are completely up for grabs, basically. I've been trying to be patient with them, but with how many times they've just swooped in to take settlements and that, and now that we've gotten our armies well built and well prepared for wars, we're done being the nice guys, we're done being patient. We're going to get ourselves right into the thick of things and get what we deserve. Because we've been patient, we've offered so much money to these two. And it's not returned in any way, shape, or form. But it's going to. It's going to once... Well, we'll see what it's is up to, because that's the new neighbor across the sea that... Zlotlin made. But we're basically sick and tired of this, and we're going to start conquering. Oh, well, there's a faction off the map. So we're only going to get 79, but they're going to get 523. I don't think so. No, and something from these guys. No, we're not getting into a defensive alliance with you. No, we're not getting into a military alliance with you. And just the pirates sailing by the coast. I thought they might do more, to be honest. Like, not attack settlements, but maybe try to go after AIs. This is going to be your last chance here, Slotlon. We can either join the Confederation, or we are going to ultimately destroy you. We are joined by the last defenders in this. So this is going to be interesting. Tic-tac-toe, we're going to take Nawantle first. I don't think there's really a point of doing the anything but the auto resolve. So let's begin securing some things around. Ah, we'll wait. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to fight the siege battle because I'm going to show you some of what our new toys are to use. And they're fun! They are going to be a lot of fun to use. So they are going to have their towers up. That's not going to be too much of a problem because we could just even... screw with them a bit and make it so they can't even do anything against us. I'm going to show you guys what the Steganauts are capable of and the fun the Ripperdactyls will be. Because those poor skinks are not going to know what hit them.
After this, we'll probably have to go to war with the last offenders. We'll push them and squish them back a bit. And then maybe after we've really annihilated them, we can get a peace treaty and then work towards confederation with Grokgar. It seems we have to bring down the an iron fist of source to get them to see reason. But sometimes that's just what you gotta do. It's actually just come down hard and heavy and lay down the law. I'll just wait a bit here. There we are. Yeah, might as well just start deployment. Yeah, because I don't know exactly where they'll set themselves up, so let me see here. The Ripperdactyls will have as their own little group. Actually, maybe, yeah, we'll get you guys thin and long. Gee, you're flying, aren't you? Yes, you are. And so is our skink chief. We'll probably need the spears for... There are three nice big salamanders and our stegodons. Stegodon, start attacking that tower there. And there they go, start getting in there. They sh you should start being able to see the Ripperdactyls just start shredding the skinks. So the Ripperdactyls basically took down the towers for us. Towers have gotten some damage off on our units, but I don't think too bad. We get one more shot to destroy. There we go. That'll definitely. Send the rippers off against. Now well, we can send them up there. I suppose we might as well try sending these guys up on the ladders as well. Let the rippers just eat them up off the walls here. 
Doing uh, still a little while before we'll see that down. There we go, gates nice and open. Let's see, yeah, those are two there. So we want the spears to come in now. They're going to be good against the ant. They're good anti large, which is what we'll need with the Feral Stegadon here. don't want to listen to me, do you? Guys up here start re working down those coxagores a bit. Let's get the skate out of there if we can. Sending everybody in through the opening here. There are salamanders getting in there. We're going to start unloading a bit of fire in. Yep. down here right in the middle of all of this chaos. I'm not sure what to send the Rippers after, to be honest. Because they're anti-infantry and armor... They are armor-piercing, eh? I don't know if the Croxagores, though... They are armored. Oh, okay. And the Ripperdactyls in. There we go. That's those guys shattered. Uh, nice, pretty simple siege just to test everything out a bit. So, we don't have many deployed, but what we do have deployed are very strong. Like, oh yeah, the Rippers. They did our best work. 136, 93, and 87. 
and it was basically the Croxagores that were their strongest. <laughs> Those poor skink cores didn't even get a kill. Actually, a lot of them didn't even get kills. Our poor source warriors with shields here didn't. Our stegonauts didn't get too many either. But they did destroy the tower. That was something that was really helpful, was destroying the tower and getting that gate open. As soon as you can get inside, you are just going to clean up. And this is going to start our conquest of Zlotlon. Because once we can get all of those together, get some more provinces, we should be able to field another nice big army. And I think the, the next army I do is going to use some of the Croxagores and a few other things. But we'll see. I actually never did make the Temple Guard, did I? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Actually, that's in... That's Tic-Tac-Toes who will have the... Who has the Blessed Temple Guard. And Tic-Tac-Toes has his own... Objective next. Because he's probably going to move on Zlotlon itself. So I told you guys I'd bring you back when things started picking up and... Well, I'd say they're picking up fairly decently. It's basically going to be one bloody crusade through all the Southlands in order to secure it. And we'll see. Maybe it's a little break before we do go after the last defenders, because we're probably going to have to. We'll probably take on some of the Vortex stuff. See if we can get those rituals completed. And then work towards that as the main ending for the campaign. But it's a hex. Good work on this one. I do hope we don't have too many more siege battles. They aren't bad, but it's just... I don't know, they don't feel as exciting as they could. I do like, though, using the Ripperdactyls up on the walls. Just clear out all those skinks that were there. I am surprised that the tower didn't kept firing even after everything was kind of breaking up there, though. So we'll have to watch that as something as well. Decisive like victory. And we'll occupy that. So there's another province completely together. So we'll do the alignment to crafting. Oh, one turn and then Tic Tac Toe's army is going to be ready to move down on Zlotlin there. Onslight should be able to hold for now thanks to having a garrison to it. So skill points. This is the Skink Chief that is flying with It's a Hex. So I think we'll do a boost income. And there's more. It's a hex himself now. Oh, doo -doo -doo. I think we'll do iron, iron disciplinary and just kind of keep them working along blue for now. Just because in campaign that's so good to do. And we'll end this turn here and watch and see what Zlotlin tries to do to come back from this sudden turn of events. No, oh, even the last defenders are wanting to come join in on the basic clean-out. I'm surprised how strong the last defenders are, though. Like, weird behind them, but only a little bit for what military power is. Long on, I am sure we're going to start seeing them trying to get back as quick as they can. Ah, yeah, sure, that's a bit more of an even trade agreement there. At this point, I don't care about what our diplomatic relations kind of are. We're just going to go about 
starting to get some stuff properly done. Yeah, here are the Lizardmen factions now, and this will be Zlotlum. I guess they don't really have anything they can do other than try to muster their forces up. And, oh, I really hope that the Capitano Sissico might go around the coast and just start going after some of the last defender's stuff. Probably unlikely. Well, you can always hope. And Ekshi got a rank, so I think we'll do... The Amber Spear. Strong versus multiple combatants. I mean, we'll do Flock of Doom. And you are going to be a couple of turns before you're replenished. Oh, nope. We want to... Keep moving this advance to the south. Don't really have anything else to make. No, but I do know something we can get rid of there. Honestly, I don't think we need the public order building. So we'll get rid of those. And next turn, we're going to siege Slotlin itself. Okay, he's going to try to rush down there to try to get anything, but we're not going to let the com let the AI get anything. We made that mistake before and let them take too much. That is such a high movement range for them. Well, looks like Krokar is still going to go around and try to... Uh, Torallosaur is probably not going to be too much of a problem unless they can basically start fielding an army soon. Oh, look at that. I think just last turn they agreed to an alliance, and now they confederate in just an instant. Stupid computers. Mod Zlotlin's learning the that mistake pretty easily, or pretty quickly, that you should probably confederate with the stronger force when they give you half your fortune. Hero's going to try to run around and do something. I don't think he'll... Yeah, he's probably just... Oh, going to try something against our... Well, maybe he doesn't even have anything they can do against our forces, to be honest. Come on, Capitano. Head down and spy a few things you can take out. I wouldn't mind if you attack rather than defend. I think we'll do let's not be reckless there. Okay, we'll start over here with It's a Hex and get Sotex Trail because that looks like it doesn't actually have anything garrison wise. Oh, yeah, that's easily ours. And we'll occupy that. Blessed Carnosaur in the. That we could recruit if we want, which we probably will sooner or later. It's a hex, we'll get your disciplinarian up again. And for Ton Wendry, ah, we'll get Dance of Death. Get you prepared for combat. Not I think we better get some military stuff going up. Actually, we'll get the Shrine of the Old Ones, because that's something we still need to get. Yeah, what the hell, we'll get you making some more money for us. And let's lay siege to their capital. They don't really have that much. I think we'll just wait a couple of turns to get the siege equipment, and then we'll roll right through and take it for ourselves. Oh, and that's fully done, so we can improve that, we can improve that. 
don't really have a lot of funds left, do I? So what else could I make here? I could use another hatchery if we do anything into the north a bit. I don't think we need any reclaimed tunnels, though. Eh, yeah, maybe we'll hold off there. What about the southern jungles? Uh, yeah, we could use some more income on the way. Yeah, we'll, and we'll let the turn go from here. The last defenders still probably going to try to run their forces down to get any little bit of claim they can. It's not going to work for you guys. Good luck, but we're going to secure as much as we can. And I really should actually complete the quest for tic-tac-toe and getting them that mask of heavens. Shaladon. I don't think there's anything he can really do to help anyone. That's just the poor skink running around with about to see a city fall. Ooh, but this is interesting. Capitano is starting to go around more. And that'll be you attack, and that will basically be that wrapped up for us. What do we want to do? Well, I suppose we could do boost income. So I was hoping we could maybe get some wall breaches in there, but it doesn't look like it. Ooh, we could do another Geomantic Locus. Yeah, I think we're going to... Yeah, another turn. So there's no real rush on that one there. We Tablet of Monuments just to get our growth up some more. But here... I think we'll... Do. Oh, I wouldn't mind the solar engines, but I do want to try out the arcs of Sotek. So that'll probably be it for that there. And there's nothing else really still there. So, we are number one for strength rank, and Krokgar has fallen behind us a bit. So that kind of goes to show you how much our forces are actually how ahead we are by our forces. Toke is going to keep trying to come down. Oh, I think Krokgar might try taking the Tower of the Stars. Nope, just going to go around. What do we got here with the dwarves? Ended the non-aggression pact we had with them. Okay. I don't think it's something to worry about quite yet. Yeah, we can start sieging you attack now. Yeah, we'll just siege that for now, a couple of turns, and then we'll have the towers. One more turn, so we'll keep sieging that. 
Next turn, we'll definitely go in and there and get them. As for Tlaqua here, we'll shine the old ones. Or, we want to make the Weapon Crafters commune. Croxagoras, Temple Guards, Horde and Ones. I think we'll have to wait and make that. Let's see what we got up here. And it might not hurt to get the Mystic Barriers up. I don't think it's something too urgent to get. What about over here? Oh, we can improve that. And yeah, what about down here? No, uh, we just use the blast the funds for the other one up there. So I think we'll end the turn right here. Run, Toke, run! You might actually do something! Oh, probably not at all. Ooh, Krokgar. You might actually run into the pirates along here. That's interesting. So I don't know if the pirates would just let them go or not. Torhalasaur still isn't out of the game yet, though. It looks like they're going to try doing some harassment. Yeah, Zlotlon is really low on power now. I gave them plenty of chances to confederate. Ooh, that might be a direct beeline for... Ah, oh. Really hoping that they would've. Hold to your vision. I think we'll hold to our vision, just because there's not really any recruitment we'll be doing. And now that we have the towers... Yeah, I, I don't know why the lightning striking comes up as an option. Ooh, right, banners, okay. So, minus eight leadership to those around, or our enemy. See, constant around self target flying unit. I can't really use those on anything though. We don't have any flying units. Or we're not up. A no, I think those are all ground units, I'm afraid. But we'll quick save just to be certain and go in for one hell of a fight. Because this is our super army. This is Blessed Temple Guard. Three Ripperdactyls, four Fire Leeches, the two Ancient Salamanders. This is the you do not want to go up against army. While our ground forces can make the push in, we'll have our aerial forces come in from behind and just like last time, just clear out what they can. I think to ensure that our aerial forces survive the best, we'll deploy them on the far left here so that we can just easily get around to the back without worrying about the towers or anything else there. We'll probably deploy the towers right up front here with and then our most of our ground forces behind that. And shouldn't be hard at all to be able to get in and capture this place.
There we go. Okay. So, the Rippers. You, oh, you guys do have Vanguard deployment too, don't you? You do. Tic toe you might as well lead the Ripperdactyls in because you don't have any range to ya. As for the towers... Back there, the spears. Try to keep you guys back behind the siege towers. Okay, so let's get our range units. Or start getting our aerial guys in here. going up against spear units right off the bat. Now that you guys should be behind the towers, we'll have them come on through the back there. Looks like all of the towers made it in. <laughs> yeah, these poor guys clustered up in the absolute worst way possible. And we'll just let our range just keep softening them up there. The Rippers. I want to send them off against the spears, though. So we'll send the rippers off to the get those guys there. That group of rippers was actually, actually routed from their damage. So let's see if we can't get them out of there. Or try to. 
Pizza. Yeah, this will look like we'll be able to, I'm afraid. We do have the Temple Guard coming on through. guys doing with these guys who are hanging around up here? Yeah, you're still having your fun, so we'll just like wait till you're out of ammo. Let's get the salamanders inside. Because the gate should be open for us, I can figure. doing here? I told you guys to get inside. Do we not own the gatehouse? Yeah, it is held by us, so it should be easy to just send the salamanders in. There you guys go. We'll have the Blessed Temple Guard work at making sure the Stegodon does not come back. of victory oh, and achievement on the sailing. So, yeah, the poor Ripperdactyls, they did pretty good though. Who were our MVPs? No, Saurus Warriors with Shields is right here. 132. Zlotlon falls first, you attack next, and then we have the northern half well, the northwestern sort of half of the Southlands. I think we did, unfortunately, though, lose that Ripperdactyl unit entirely. It sucks, but it's also something we can also we can get back pretty easily thanks to everything we've got. And just so that way we can say for certain we've chased Zlotlin off of the Southlands, or off the continent entirely, we'll keep going until we can siege and take you attack as well. Rippers are good, but I think, just looking over them again, I think the Rippers are something kind of like the Red Crest Skinks. There's a certain 
way to use them, and I just don't quite know it yet. I know they are considered large, so you don't want to really put them up against anything that's an anti-large unit. So going after, like, this, the source with spears was not a good matchup for them. I'm still waiting for us to get more just in the field battles. Like, all of them so far have just been a lot of siege fights. And the ones that haven't been have been so easy just auto-resolve that it hasn't been a problem. Come on, we know what's happened. We should be able to load this up a little quicker. So how much do they have deployed in total? This looks like a thousand and eighteen. They lost about seven hundred and forty something. Maybe seven hundred and forty six ish, around there. how long it's taking to load I'll probably probably do some cutting and I'll probably actually remember to make mention of this at the end of this episode that I might have cut a little bit out just so that we don't have to worry about these prolonged wait times as I think it's supposed to be there was a type of drive the SSDs are supposed to be able to run the game much faster than just your standards do or your standard HD is it HDDs or? I can't remember what the basics is called. Anyway, Stop. decisive victory. Now we did lock, lose the Ripperdactyl Riders. But we've now claimed Zlotlon for ourselves. And all we have left to get is Utech here. And in one more turn, we should be able to get that no problem with the siege weapons. And with the win, we also have a lot of money we can look at using. So I want to do the Weapon Crafters Commune. And we'll build that. I don't think there's anything else up here we could build or wanted to build at the moment. Yeah, not really. We do have some skill points. There's the upgraded, the Sphere of Tepok upgraded. And we'll definitely have to work towards his Mask of Heavens as well. But for now, and this turn quickly... And Toke has lost his chance for anything, so he's going after a port back to Krokgar that... We've suffered a lot, um, Zlotlon's basically gone from the Southlands. They only have the one settlement left. And soon we might turn our sights on to... Do we want to go right after the last defenders, though? I think we've had enough beating the crap out of our fellow lizardmen for a little while, at least. So maybe what we'll do is we'll just... Ensure and secure... The last territories Lotlon has. Get Utech under our control. Kind of sure up the Southlands a bit. Nope. Well, Tor Alasor managed to... Well, it was a pretty hard-fought victory, but... They pulled that little bit off. Oh, poor Oshelodon. He's going to be the last little skink hero left on this entire continent for them. I offered Confederation multiple times and gave you too much money to just let you... Ignore it. 
And the pirates are going to just sail off to wherever they want to go. Oh, there's that bit of research done. And now we can start on that one. So we'll start interpreting the old ones. Cool. Can we recruit anything locally? Uh, we could get a salamander hunting pack, but I think we'll focus more on placing those Ripperdactyl Riders. Let's take you attack. A quick save, and hop into battle. And with this victory, we sh that'll be all the Southlands under our complete control. to see where the towers are on this map because I know we're going to have to deal with a number of the skinks tossing crap at us although if no uh, they won't all be on oh but there's no anti-large with no anti-large anti-large units we could send our rippers right onto the ta on the walls again I think that might be our best course of action here. Ah, whatever. What the heck? We'll gamble for the winds of magic. Nah, we lost quite a few. That was a terrible gamble. Okay, everybody back here. So they've got, what, three, two, and none over here. So maybe this is probably the best spot to try putting our towers out at. Our Ripperdactyls won't get shot here. Nor will our Pterodon Riders. Well, this is just like three hits, basically. Like the cohorts with the javelins only have a forward. They don't even have anybody who can man the towers because of how we made them have to deploy. Oh, that's beautiful. Send you after them, you after them. Yeah, just let the rippers get in there and tear them to shreds. And just walk you guys over there. already got one unit of skink go ports basically broken, so they probably will be leaving soon enough. Oh, we even have the Stegodon. Let's see if we can break this gate open. And there 
are going to try to get up onto the wall here. guys fight up there. Uh, I don't think we'll use Flock of Doom, but we will use... Oh, those Rippers have barely taken any damage. And how's the gate doing? Who's it held by? Still held by Slotlaw. So we want to get somebody over here in order to try and get that gatehouse open. See if we can't send the Ripper Dactyls up to take down you know, those Crocs, the Gores. Who do we got here? Oh, no, he is, should be part of. Yeah, that's part of the band that we'll just send our way in. get that gatehouse open, we're going to try to get these guys inside. I'm not sure what they're shooting. Oh, are they sh No idea what that shoot the tower shooting at. Should be having some of our ground units there in just a moment. Should start seeing this gate come towards our favor, I'd imagine. How's everybody doing up here? Ooh, everybody's just having all kinds of fun up here. Rippers are tearing into them good. That's probably it right there. Yeah, that's it there. With Proxigore shattered back there. Slotlon is no more. So, we only lost five units. Oh, and those Rippers really tore through them. 144, 127, and 84. The Ripper Dactyls really had a lot of fun on that one. Oh, but that was a good victory. That was a nice decisive just... You're out of there. You're done. And surprisingly, this one loaded no problem. Okay, decisive victory, and we'll occupy it. And there's another pro- no, oh, not quite another province, but... That should be all of Zlotlon's forces off of our continent. All, they don't actually have- they have the Altar of the Horned Rat left, and that's it. But I think the Blessed Dread are coming after them. For now, though... We'll just assign these skill points before I head on off. Punish troops to help you guys get back more easily. And we'll get another Clock of Doom. Didn't actually use that one that battle. This is for It's a Hex. Another Iron Disciplinarian there. And we're going to save things here. And maybe we'll see how the series does before I do any more episodes, because this is already 10 episodes in. That's a, That did save, didn't it? Okay, yeah, it did. So anyway, for now, we have our firm foot, or a firm hold on the, on the, this half of the Southlands, and we may go up against, 
either some of the ritual next or the last offenders next either way we'll end things here as i've said probably multiple times now thank you guys very much for watching if you do really like the series and want to see it keep going just leave me a comment to let me know and i'll probably put this as one of the priority ones but for now we may even just ease it back a little bit we'll have to see until then though please remember as always to take care and stay alive